Hey guys, how's it going? It's Mustang Lover 1970 here. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about why I own a 2001 Ford Mustang V6. Okay, so you all are probably, you know, Mustang fans, they love their V8s. I'm one of those guys. I, if I, I would take a V8 any day for my V6. I, I mean, I like them. I like the V8 Mustangs. I've been in one. They're, they're, they're true performers. But here comes the one downfall when you're a young person like me, is this insurance thing. Okay, okay, so with the story with our 2001 Mustang right here, the V6 I'm in, my dad and I, we bought this car to flip and sell it. So what we did is, you know, you take this car from the base, the base uh, style, it came with the original rims, the original everything, and... What we did, my dad and I, you know, we put stripes on it, we put new rims on it, we put some engine performance parts on it, exhaust, etc. So, and ended up happening, um, we have an older Ford Explorer 2 that was supposed to be my truck when I got my driver's license. So, my dad, um, he, you know, he has this kind of job where he parks in this parking lot where, you know, a bunch of cheesy people are. You know, a 96 Ford Explorer is going to be on nobody's radar to, you know, break in or anything like that. So, I mean, he's not going to bring a, a 2001 Mustang would even catch somebody's eye. You know, it's, it's, I don't know. People are crazy out there these days. But anyways, get them getting back on the topic. My dad needed the 96 Explorer so I can no longer basically use that truck because every time I needed it, he was using it. So instead he, um, you know, he told me, you know, I can have the 2001 Ford Mustang. I received it. I enjoy it. I thank him deeply for it. I love this car a lot. But that's how it ended up. I how I ended up getting a V6 Mustang because we were planning on selling this. You know, when you flip and sell a car, we bought this Mustang for like I think it was 1900. But because it was a V6, a GT from 2000 from 1999 until 2004 was still going roughly on the website in our area and the websites were. Roughly going around four thousand dollars. There's no way you know you're gonna make a big profit off of buying a Mustang for four thousand dollars, then flipping it. You're probably only gonna make a couple hundred bucks off of it. Who knows if you drive it enough, it might start having problems, and you're gonna start having to throw more money into it. It depends what you're gonna buy, guys. It it it, it just depends. You gotta know the condition of the car first of all. So that brings me to this point. You know, here I am in January 2019, drive a 2001 Ford Mustang V6. I'm enjoying it. I mean, it, it's a it's an okay car. I mean, these cars are nowhere near as fast as, you know, a Terminator or anything like that. It, it's it's just not gonna work. But here's one good thing about the V6 Mustang. The the ones made from 2011 until now. Well, they don't make the V6 anymore. So I'm gonna say 2011 till 2017. Those Mustangs with the 3.7 liter V6. I mean, they they can totally kick a a, a 2009 through even older Mustang with the GT with the V8 I mean they could they could totally you know stomp on them those V6s are no joke and plus if you mod them and everything I mean they'll be there's this one guy on YouTube he turboed it that thing beats GTRs and everything I don't know if you've seen that video but I suggest you go check it out it's a pretty motivational video at the same time but one thing with the V6 too is that Yes, the insurance is a lot cheaper. I'm already paying, I'm going to have to start paying almost 200 no, $300 a month to keep an 18-year-old car. I mean, that's kind of much if you think about it. I like Mustangs. I love them. At this point, give me a car with a horse emblem on it. I'll pay for it. That's, that's how I feel at this point. I just want to keep the Mustang. I'm more of a cosmetics kind of guy. I care about horsepower here and there. But most of the time, I like how things look. Like, check this out. I did all this work on my interior. I, I turned off that side. But I got my lights under here. I got my uh, whole interior painted up. Everything looks nice. These cars are so simple to work on, guys. And I'm sorry if it's a little bit dark outside, first of all, because, I mean, I decided to make this, make this video last minute. I apologize, guys. Forgive me. But this is one thing you guys should keep in mind when buying a V6. When you buy a V6, please, like, don't get the automatic. That's just not a great transmission if you're looking for power. If you want to get all your power out of the engine, because the automatic, the RPM range they shift at is horrible. They shift at, like, I think it's, like, 4,500. The engine makes the, a maximum amount of horsepower in a V6 from 99 to 04. They make 
193 horsepower at the 5,500 mark, that doesn't even get your full power out of your car. With me and I have a stick shift, I could get the RPM almost to 7,000 RPM and I could get more of the power out of the stick shift than with the automatic. So if you can, all you can get is an automatic, get the automatic. But if you are shopping for a Mustang, like if, if your parents handed you down, you know, their Mustang and was an automatic, I suggest you take it. I mean, what kind of parent, well, my dad, he gave me this one. So, but what kind of parent, and you know, their parents are nice. They'll give you a Mustang. Just take it guys. Just be thankful. But at the same time, if you're shopping for one and you want to buy your own, I suggest getting the five speed manual transmission. 100% recommend it because you can play around with the transmission and everything. Plus, the automatic shift points are kind of wimpy too. So, even a tuner, a tuner would fix it, but it still won't be the best. But at the other hand, you know, I think I have my keys with me. I don't know. But on the other hand of this, um, with you guys buying a V6, don't feel bad at all buying a V6. Just, it's getting you into the car community. In the future, I'm planning on upgrading maybe to a Mach 1, maybe 5, 10 years from now. I'm planning on getting a Mach 1. I I can't afford a Mach 1 right now, so I'm happy with what I have, guys. I just want you to let you know, do not feel bad having a V6 at all. It is not, it's nothing bad. It's not going to do anything to you. It's, it's not... It is a downgrade, but it's not bad. I enjoy having a V6 because with the V6, you can, you know, put a tune on it. You can put exhaust on it. You can put different setups here and there. The car would take off. I mean, if you want, if you want to put your money into it, I suggest go for it. Because in the with this V6 right now, this V6 has a Bama tune and the American Muscle, the um, what's it called, Power Pack on it, and it has an exhaust with the American Thunder Flowmaster Resonators. This car has a little bit of a lot of, you know, a lot of work done to it in the, you know, so we bought it in May of 2018. And not even a year, it's been had that much work. Plus I put this interior kit on. Well, I didn't put a kit on, I painted it, put the lights on there. It's not a bad idea, but you know, don't feel bad if you have a V6, guys. Because what I'm planning to do, if I end up keeping the V6, I might, you know, go to a, uh, a salvage yard that you know here's a secret some older Ford Explorers and some older F-150 pickups they come with the 5 liter HO engine that's a great engine I found one for like 400 bucks I might save up for it I might get it I might not because here's this is one of the options I have I have two options what I'm gonna do with the V6 that's in this car so the first option as I said get the 5.0 from the Ford Explorer okay so what I did I went on the internet I found a 2001 Ford Explorer that has been in a wreck but the only good thing about it, it was in a wreck from the be in the in the behind, because the front, the engine was all you know intact and everything still. Truck only had a hundred thousand miles on it, but it had the five liter HO pushrod unit. So that engine makes roughly around two hundred thirty five horsepower. Maybe if you put a few mods, it can make almost three hundred. I don't know. I'm just assuming things because our Explorer is a five point zero and it's a fast truck. But oh yeah, I do have my keys in here. Thank God. But at the same time, that's the five. The 5.0 option is a great way to go. The second option is okay. It's a little bit more expensive than a 5.0, but um, is the double turbo this standard V6? They make kits for that, and they don't work. They work pretty good. I mean, they they perform. They push the air through you need, and they're twin turbos. So it's a kit you get. I think it was off of uh, AmericanMuscle.com. And it was around $1,300. I mean, for a turbo, that's not bad because for a supercharger, you're paying almost $6,000. And you're making... It, the supercharger's okay. It depends what kind of supercharger you get because some superchargers make less horsepower than a turbo turbocharger would. But, um, yeah, that's the second option is getting a turbocharger on this engine. There's kits that come with two turbochargers. I'm looking at the, the double turbocharger. And that's the $1,300 one. So here's one last maybe modification or major upgrade you could do to your V6 for the new edge. I'm talking like 1999 to 2004 Ford Mustang V6s. What you can do, this is an insane thing. It's insane. It's going to cost a lot of money. But it is cheaper than the 20, uh, I think 2015 through 2017 Ford Mustangs. You coyote swap the engine on this car. 
you put a Coyote 5.0 in there, this car would kick butt big time. Because these new Edge Mustangs, they're lightweight. I think they might be lighter than the newest Mustang. I could be wrong. But they they look like they're lighter. They feel like they're lighter because I've been in a newer, newer Mustang before. But that's another thing you can do. It's, it's a good idea, too, to buy the 5.0 Coyote because it comes when you buy it. You could buy a salvage one or you could buy a brand new one. Brand new one comes with your harness, your cables, and everything you need to get your car to work with the 5.0 Coyote. Because um, some Mustangs, if you put a different engine in, they're not going to work with your tachometer, your speedometer, and it's just going to be a big mess that you don't want to get into. But, yeah, 5.0, if you can find a great 5.0, like eight, not an HO, the Coyote for a great price, I suggest you do it. Actually, my bad. The Coyote came out in 2011. So 2011 and newer, you find an engine from there. It'll be a great buy if you can find that engine. Okay, so ending this video, I want to tell you guys, if you own a V6, as I said before, please don't be ashamed. If you're like 16 to maybe 23 years old, if you get a V6, guys, I think you're lucky enough if you get a V6 because insurance is really starting to go through the roof. Even if my dad and I, we bought a GT to flip, I would probably still, you know, if he gave me the Explorer, I mean, if he kept the Explorer and I kept the GT, I'd probably have to get rid of it because the insurance is higher on a GT. And, the, and, you know, the gas mileage, you might think it gets good gas mileage, but it really doesn't. It, this car burns a lot of gas. It's a six-cylinder. It burns a lot of gas. I got to tell you the truth. It, it's not a fuel saver. But, you know, it's a great start. I'm thankful for it. I like it. You know, I put the you know mods on it. It's fast. You know, not all V6s are slow if you put the parts on. If you put special parts on, hey, they'll do what you want them to do. I mean, they'll 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 go. They're not they're not bad at all. What I think is worse now is now that they're adding four cylinder engines to Ford Mustangs. I thought we stopped doing that in like 1993. Well, we're having it back again. It's not a bad engine, but, you know, having the idea of putting a, a four-cylinder into a Ford Mustang is horrible. I don't like that idea. But yet, then again, you could think, oh, the 3.8 liter Mustang engine was also found in the Ford Windstar. And the 4.0 Mustang engine from the 05, the 2010 years, they were in the Ford Explorer. That's a bad way to look at it, but, you know, it's true. They were in those types of cars. But if, as I said, if you put the parts on them, you put some money into it, these, v these V6s could be a, you know, a quick little street car. They're pretty fast. I mean, I put with this tune on here and everything, I'm probably making around 215 horsepower. It's, 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 you know, I'm thankful for it. I'm happy with the, you know, horsepower I'm making. It could be better. I can upgrade more when I get my job, you know, all settled out and everything. I'm going to start, you know, putting a little bit more parts into this car. But the major thing is don't go too crazy on your parts. Save your money, guys, if you're young like me, because you're going to want to put all that money. Basically for me, I'm going to have to start putting almost all my money into the insurance just to keep this thing. It's going to be insane. But V6s aren't bad, guys. I'm letting you know V6s aren't bad. I think I think the worst, you know, the worst thought of a V6. I hate it. I like hate it so much when these guys come into a car show and they put GT badges and Cobra badges and all that stuff on their V6 and it's like come on, man. You're I'm I'm cool enough where I can leave the pony badges on my side. I'm not going to put a GT badge on. I might put a GT badge on when I put a 5.0 up under the hood, but even if I twin turbo the car, I am not going to put crazy badges or anything like that on there. So, ending this video, I hope you guys understand why I bought a 2001 Ford Mustang V6. No hard feelings for any of you four-cylinder owners out there. I completely get it. Get what you guys like. That's the most important part. That's why there's so many cars available out today, so everybody can get what they want. But... I'm happy with my V6. I hope you all are happy with your V6 if you're watching this video and you own one. I totally am not against the V8 Mustang. I am not hypocritic on the V6. I love V6. I love V8. Anything that has a pony emblem on it is good in my opinion. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a great new year. Thank you for watching and tuning in. You guys have a blessed night. Bye.